what is going on everybody so I just wanted to make a video talking about something I noticed from the semi-final matchup between Tweez and Skimbo and it's something very small that I think makes Tweez's offense just really really unique as well as why it made it really really hard to stop um now I do think the main reason his offense was really hard to stop was because he had the best QB run stick I think by far in that tournament um, the way he was able to maneuver the pocket and, you know, create running lanes with Russell Wilson, I think he did it the best out of anybody. And it makes whenever your opponents has a set plan on defense, a set way that they like to run their defense, setting up a blitz, whatever it is, sometimes it could be a hassle to get a QB spy out there and they don't have enough resources. And if they're stubborn and don't want to put a spy, Tweez was feasting. But this was actually in the passing game right here. So, First and ten, third quarter against Skimbo, down four, and he's in his single back spread. And he runs a handful of plays out of this formation. Um, you'll see four verticals. You'll see a lot of smash corners, which is what I want to go over right now. Um, and then you'll see some complimentary plays like inside cross, stuff like that. But the typical smash corner setup that he was running a lot was basically, obviously, you have your hitches on the outside and then corner routes from the slot receiver. So hitch corner hitch corner and it's it's an easy read just read the flat zone defender if your opponent doesn't have either a hard flat and a cloud flat or a hard flat and a curl flat out there uh, this is a tough concept to defend and then that also plays in Tweez's hands as you allocate resources towards the sideline it allows running lanes to be created up the middle since you're spreading out your defense so it all kind of meshes together which was really cool but something that Tweez started to do uh, was he on the left side was smart routing either he was either smart routing this hitch on the outside or putting him on a curl I think he was smart routing him but he would smart route him to the first down marker and then he would still leave this corner out in behind him and you're gonna see kinda how this interaction played out it's a weird interaction and if you haven't seen it before I mean off the top of your head in a game I feel like it'd be really tough to adjust to so oh uh, you're gonna see Skimbo on Cam Chancellor and so this was kind of what Skimbo was doing for most of the game when he saw this Smash Corners concept. He was staying on the right side of the field and kind of muddying up the read for Tweez. Like, obviously, if Tweez wanted to throw that hitch route right now, he could throw it. He could kind of throw this the corner route on the right side down and away towards the sidelines, trying to get a possession catch. But it's kind of sketchy throwing that whenever your opponent's just lurking over there. You don't want to make a bad read. You don't want to get baited. So, naturally, you want to read the other side of the field. And you see kind of it developing right now and you see the the smart routed hitch route by Doug Baldwin and then you see the corner route by I believe that's Tyler Lockett going in behind it and so you see right here Skimbo doesn't have a hard flat he only has one defender in the area and that's this guy right here I presume he's in a cloud flat he could have been in either a cloud flat or possibly a curl flat he did come from the interior um so uh, that defender does have the ability to be put in a curl flat so if that's the adjustment Skimbo went with. Um, I can't be 100% sure, but either way, basically, he's a defender that's going to sink back to that corner route. Uh, that's going to be his first obligation is going to be sinking into that corner route. So Tweez notices this, and he goes ahead and throws a low point to that receiver, Doug Baldwin, <clears throat> comes up with a possession catch before that defender can get underneath. So that's already interesting right there. You basically put two receivers in the same area, but then one of them pulled the defender just deep enough to where you could throw a low point. Now, low points are kind of sketchy. You might get away with it a few times, but Skimbo actually tells Tweez after the play, like the low points, you know how the low points work. They're going to throw one bad, and that's true. So it's not something you want to make your living off of there. Uh, but here's kind of where the adjustment gets a really cool as to why I think that setup from Tweez is really unique and different right here. Uh, they actually have the cameras on their controllers, so it's kind of tough to see. Uh, but you're going to see the same hitch corner setup. And it's the same thing right here. Um, Skimbo on the right side, Cam Chancellor muddying up the read on the right side of the field. And you can see on the left side, if you look really closely, you can see the same route combo. You see the Spart routed X route by Doug Baldwin, the corner route by Lockett. But now you can see the top of this defender right here, right above the, the camera. You can see him. He's now playing much more aggressively likely 99% chance that he's in a hard flat now. So Tweez notices this and goes ahead and throws the pass low point once again 
uh, to Doug Baldwin, the defender can't get back there fast enough because, A, it's not Earl Thomas. If that was Earl Thomas, he might have jumped it, but I believe that's Jeremy Lane right there. So, hard flat, not going to be able to defend it either. He actually gets the rat catch, goes upfield, gets a good animation. Skimbo actually whiffs with a strip animation from Deshaun Shedd. And actually, if Doug Baldwin, you see Doug Baldwin turns around, if he would have, instead of set his eyes, it looks like he set his eyes on blocking that guy right there. If Doug Baldwin would have instead set his eyes on blocking him, uh, Tweez probably walks into the end zone here. But Doug Baldwin kind of goes after the wrong guy. Skimbo clicks on, ends up making a tackle at like the 11-yard line. But that's just something that's really interesting to me, how Tweez kind of, you know, adjusted the smash corner setup. And it seems like, okay, Skimbo went with a, either it was a cloud flat or a curl flat. He, he threw the hook route. He went with the hard flat. Hook route still open. So now what that makes your, def, your opponent start to do on defense is they have to start making adjustments that they're not really used to making to stop that route, right? A lot of people can just throw a hard flat and a cloud flat out there and stop these sideline combinations like you saw a lot of last year or like out of gun bunch a lot of the corner strike setups you just throw a hard flat cloud flat out there it pretty much slows it down but in this case that's that's not gonna work so now skimbo has the burden of making other adjustments and almost kind of learning on the fly he's got to start experimenting essentially in the middle of a game to try and stop this smash corner setup along with worrying about all the other plays that Tweez has out of this formation along with not allocating too many resources to leave Tweez just free to run free up the middle with Russell Wilson. So really unique offense by Tweez. Um, obviously, this was a great game, fantastic game. I actually think Tweez outplayed Skimbo for most of the game, but Skimbo made the clutch plays when he needed to, and, and that's kind of was the story of this game. Just Skimbo with the experience made the clutch plays when the game was on the line and ended up pulling it out. But definitely two amazing players, and it was a lot of fun to watch this game. I'm looking forward to watching Tweez hopefully make more live events in the future. But hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, let me know what I can do better for future videos. And until next time, guys, take it easy.